I believe that by the end of the video, not only will your perspective change, but because of your perspective on your situation changing, your situation will indeed change. Because in order for your situation to change, you have to change your mind. Romans 12, 2 says, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to change your mind. Faith is confidence in the unseen as if the unseen is reality. And it's very easy for you to get caught up in your situation and marry it to a point to where you can only speak of what it is that you see. But once you take off your carnal lenses and put on your spiritual ones, you will notice that what you see is just a reflection of what you have thought and believed previously. This is why you partner with God, because in your weakness, his power is made perfect. The Bible doesn't say all things are possible for God. It says with. So it takes you partnering with God in order for the impossible to happen. But again, what happens is we sit and sulk in our situation and we believe so much in what we see that it takes our eyes and focus off of the spiritual and what we can't. If you look around the room, every single thing that you see started here. From the phone that you're watching on or tablet or computer to your blinds to your curtains to a notebook to a book to a tripod everything that you see came from the unseen including you so if you take a moment to dissect that ingest that and meditate on that what you're seeing is just a product of what you have been thinking and believing for so long so in order for your situation to change, you must change your mind. If it does not align with who you desire to be, the life that you desire to live, you should not be dwelling on it and talking about it. It's not your situation. It's what you're calling your situation. Everything that happens is neutral. You give it meaning. So you may be thinking something bad is happening to you, but it's your perspective that says so. I've said this before, when the, the disciples were on the boat, from their point of view, they associated Jesus walking on water as a ghost. They said, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. And they were terrified. But when Jesus revealed that it was him walking on water, their perspective changed. They said, oh, no, it's Jesus. And he, Peter had the courage to step out and walk on water because his perspective went from ghost to Jesus. When you look at your situation, are you calling it a ghost or are you calling it God? Which G are you adding to it? Because at the end of the day, you give it meaning. This happened to me back in November of 2023. I totaled my car. I totaled my car and not only did I lose my car, but I also lost my job because I was driving Uber and Lyft. And I was devastated. I was mad. I was telling God, I don't understand what's going on. I've been being walking blamelessly. I've been turning from my old ways, being obedient, talking to you every day, all this and a third. So why is it that this got taken from me on homecoming weekend too? At that, When I surrendered and humbled myself before the Lord and said, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. Give it to you. I, I just, I can't do this anymore. And I rested in knowing that God takes care of me. Was it hard? Yes, because I was peed off. But once I humbled myself, God revealed something about the car. I went to check to see how gap insurance worked because when I bought the brand new car, I did get gap insurance. And what I found was the person who sold me the car falsified my information so that he could get the payments low enough for me to say yes to the car. So from my perspective, the car got taken from me and now I don't have a job and now life is horrible and why did this happen and i don't have this i don't have that but when you take off the carnal lenses and put on the spiritual ones god said i had to get you up out of a contract that you didn't know was fraudulent so your situation you may be calling a ghost but it's really god and this is why i say god is in everything once i've eliminated satan or looked at satan as wow you're really helping god get what he needs to get to me so that I can persevere. This is why in James chapter one, it talks about how you should consider it joy when trials and tribulations come up, allow it to finish its work so you can come out mature and complete. 
But if you're too busy calling struggle and your situation something that should not be happening to you, you will not get mature and complete because you're not calling it God, you're calling it a ghost. You're calling it something that it shouldn't be there. And now you're scared, you have anxiety, you're worried and you're stressed out. It's like, no, God is trying to teach you something through your situation, but you won't get the lesson so you're still stuck in it. Your situation is far less horrible than you think. You're just creating this idea that what you're going through is so, so, so bad and you can't get out of it. Again, you are a creator. So if you say that you can't get out of it, if you say that you're stuck, if you say that you're this, if you say that you're that, that's going to be true for you because you are a creator. Until you yield to the spiritual laws of God and you understand, no, I am abundant. God, what are you trying to teach me? What is your perspective on this situation? How can I serve you through the situation as I'm walking and navigating through it? When you welcome God in, he can turn your situation around just like that. And it'll turn around just like that because your perspective on it isn't ghost, it's God. As you deny yourself, take up your cross and follow Jesus, look at your situation from God's perspective and allow him in. And again, when you know the spiritual laws, you can apply them to your life and your situation won't look as bad as you think it looks. Tap into the unseen because what the seen is, is just your previous thoughts and beliefs manifested into reality. But as you change your mind, you will change your situation. And until next time.